Dale from NBA Indie Review. Um, before watching this video, please take the time to like and subscribe. I take my time in um, making these videos and giving you guys good product reviews. So please just take the time to uh, like it. It would greatly help my channel, and I appreciate it. Thank you. Without further ado, let's get to the product review. My first impression of the mic is um, I actually like the size of it. Um, it's a pretty big mic. See right here? And like compared to the size of my hand, it's pretty big. Um, I, di I didn't measure or anything. So one thing I will be able to say is just from the size of the mic itself, it probably has a, it probably has a, a great sound because of just because of the coil inside of the actual microphone itself. See? It does have RBG lights. You press this button right here. And I'll show you guys through in the video. Um, but I wanted to be able to show you. So I couldn't use the mic and show you too. And I like how I like the um this this shock mount right here. You see that? That's nice. You just boom. Boom. And the back of it. XLR, if you want to, or um, USB Type C headphone jack. And one thing I will say is that um, you can use it in XL XLR mode. Of course, it has XLR jacks. But if you use it in XLR mode without having the um, Type C in there, you won't be able to use the RBG lights. Now, I'm assuming a lot of people getting this microphone, they're actually not getting it to. Um, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, ass I'm assuming most people will probably get it to use it as a USB microphone. I know some will, um, you know, prefer XLR. And right here, um, the, the microphone. One of the one of the biggest advertising points for this microphone was the RBG lights, as you can see right here. If I press the different buttons, let me see. Right here, uh, mm, mm, mm. see, and that is right here. button a little bit for you guys and I will say when handling this mic be very careful the fact the simple effect of the mute button while recording this review, I was talking for like a minute and a half and didn't even realize that I was that I, had, I had actually hit the mute button when I was when I was sh moving it around and I made video scrapped. Uh, and right here is a mute button right here. And if I press that, we'll see. And it's that simple. One of the things I will say um, about this microphone that kind of like I wish they would kind of would have had a mute button instead of like a, a touch the microphone type of thing because oftentimes if you're if you're handling the mic or whatever you can hit the mute button and not even know that you not even know that the button is muted you could just be talking and rambling on and you look down you know you, you go to hear your recording no audio so I guess if if you keep it like this versus the way I had it before which was like like, like this. It won't be a problem. You know, you'll be able to know. Let me move it back down now. Yeah, I just wanted you guys to be able to see the colors and stuff now that you, you saw all that. Move it down. It's like all in my face. <laughs> but um, as many of you guys who, who watch my my review videos, you know that um I prefer dynamic microphones. I'll, I always say why. I was I look down real quick to make, to make sure it was recording. I don't want to be recording and talking for like five minutes look down. It's red, so I, I had to look down real quick. But, um... One of the reasons why I prefer dynamic, dynamic microphones is, like I said before, my kids are right now are upstairs playing and boom, boom, bam, and you probably can't hear this right now. You know, um, you probably can't hear them, so that's fine. But um, on the video that I did of the uh, Blue Yeti, which I'll leave a link to that in the description above, I also mentioned that some people would argue, well, that's irrelevant um, nowadays because we have the um, noise reduction plugins 
especially if you're somebody that uses like OBS or um, just edits your videos and um, what is it, uh, the Dimensity Resolve, you really, have, you really won't have those problems. But again, as, as I said before, um, like I mentioned in the Blue Yeti video, I'm stuck in my ways. I know that there are plugins um, and things like that that you can use. But most of the time, to be truthful with you, when I edit my um, videos, I, I usually don't have to add a noise suppression to my videos because of, because of that reason alone. You know, um, I, I normally just add a, um, a limiter, um, add a certain um, dB, and just leave it that, there, and I don't be just keep keep it pushing. You know, I don't have to change um, my audio too much or add a, um, a, a noise suppression plugin because I usually don't have that problem because whatever's going on in my background, like my kids playing right now, I can hear it, but you probably can't. You, you, you can't hear it, so it doesn't matter. So. This microphone, it's, I love the sound quality. It's very good sound quality. Right now, as I'm talking right now, I hope you're, you know, kind of turning the volume up and down or listening to it on different headphones to kind of get a good idea. Um, what, I, what I will say is that oftentimes people will go out and try to buy the most expensive microphone that, that they can find. And, and what I will say is that unless you have studio monitors or studio headphones, the average person listening to a podcast or a YouTube review on their phone speaker or or Bluetooth headphones, you really can't tell the difference, anyways. Um, I remember a couple of years ago, I watched I watched a um, YouTube review where the guy was reviewing the um, what is it the uh, what's that one po podcast mic? Um, what, what was it like the Sure something B? I think I'm not sure the exact um, name of the mic, but I know it's the Sure something B. And he actually he actually spoke. On a few different um, um, videos with, using a few different mics, he would ask people like, "Hey, which one do you think is which?" And in the, in the video, people were like, "Well, this is so, so for sure." And he would like, and you would go to it. No, it's not. So I say that to say the average person, unless you're listening to it on, on like I said before, studio monitors or studio headphones, or you have some expensive headphones that really um, highlight sound, the average person really really can't tell. You know, I think oftentimes it, it's just marketing, good marketing from these companies. To get, to get people to pay for these products, which, hey, I can't be mad at them, you know? Um, now, am I saying that these mics, which are expensive, are not good microphones? No, not at all. I'm sure they, they are good mics. They're, they're, they have a great build quality, great sound quality. But I'm saying that for the average person who wants to get into content creation or want to get into um, podcasting, you don't need a mic that expensive, you know? Early on in my music career when, when I was doing, um, well not music career, but engineering, when I was doing um, local artists, recording local artists, oftentimes I would buy different microphones and I, I would maybe um, have the artist record the first verse on this microphone and try a different microphone. And what I will say is that even if there is a slight noise difference, it's nothing that can't be fixed in the editing process as far as uh, when I was doing music. And even the same with, with podcasting and YouTube videos. You know, if if you if you ever decide you want to use two different microphones, like I did in the beginning of the video, um, and you said, "Well, the noise difference is it, it, the two microphones sound different." Most of the time, it's nothing. A, a few um, a few plugins, different pl plugins can't fix, and it's usually not a, a major difference where you can notice too much. You know, so if you were to ask me, who is this microphone for? This microphone is for anybody who wants to get into content creation or podcasting. Sure, um, you know, I have a few different microphones that I'm gonna review as well. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, I, I reviewed the Blue Yeti. Um, check it out. I hope this video has been informative to you. I, I can say I know oftentimes when when people are looking to get into different audio things, whether it's um, podcasting, content creation, or e even vlogging, they just go on YouTube and look at reviews, and they want to just make sure that am I getting a good product for the price that I'm paying and is the quality of the microphone or whatever gadget I'm getting, is it a good quality for the price? And so for that, I would say yes, yes, and yes. I actually got this off of eBay for what, 30 ish bucks. Um, I know, I know it, it retailed at one point for like 79 99. I'm not sure how much it costs now. Um, it's been out for uh, probably a little over a year. So I know it might be, um, might not be as much now, because they um they have released um, other microphones since then um fine fine have so you could probably get it definitely get it on eBay um, like I said for thirty ish something bucks um as I also mentioned in my um, Blue Eddie video 
I got that also off of eBay for like 30, 30-ish bucks. And when I actually looked at the retail price for the Blue Yeti microphone that I have specifically, it retails at um, $129.99. And again, I always tell people I'm a big component of just going to eBay and grabbing stuff because if you if you don't want to pay the price for it, the full price for it, but you still want that good quality, um, you can pay the fraction of the price and also have the the same product, you know, at a much at a fraction of the cost you would you would pay if you would have got it got a brand new. I love the microphone. I think it sounds great. I like the RBG um, lights. Though I, I will say I, I'm not too crazy about RBG lights, especially on the microphone. I, I guess that part of it is probably more so geared towards gamers who are in, who are in like uh, semi dark rooms and the lights actually stand out. But for me, I typically keep all my microphones like kind of below. Um, like you can see, you can see on on the um, screen, I typically keep my microphone like half the microphone like down below anyway. So it's like you really can't. It would it wouldn't benefit me anyway to to have RBG lights. I mean, are they on? Yeah, they're on. But I say you can't see them, and I I can't even see them. My camera's like right here because I'm looking at the camera. I'm not looking like down like this right here. So it's like so. They are from Indie Indie Reviews. Thank you for watching the video. Please like and subscribe. It helps the channel. I do my best to put out good content for the masses. So uh, the least you can do is just you know um, like and share the video. So until next time, peace.